In this video, I want to talk about how to uninstall parts of SQL Server. So occasionally, when you do a SQL Server installation, um, something goes wrong. And typically, the, the problem is that you forgot to press the button to add yourself as an admin. So where you know it happens is when you come over and you make a connection to Analysis Server or the database engine, and you can't get in. You don't have permissions to access either one of those. Analysis Server is probably the most common one because it's easy to double click the OK or the Next button and skip over the part that allows you to add yourself as an admin. Now, this is different than if I just open up Management Studio. And uh, connect to my Analysis Server. I am clearly able to connect, as you'll see here in just a second. I'm clearly able to connect, but um, because I didn't open up Management Studio as an administrator, I get different results. Now, I find this to be annoying. You'll notice that there's no database showing up here, um, whereas it actually there is a cube database all set up to go. The big in the, the on the server, the big difference is that one is opened up with the administrator rights, and one is not. So, it's usually a Great idea to right click on your tile and run as an administrator so that you can see everything. But let's say that for uh, instance I did not, I can access it anyway. I might have to go through and uninstall it. And it's not obvious how to do this. You actually need to open up the um, add and remove program. So you type in add and remove programs, launch this application. You can filter it by the application you want, and I put in SQL, that helps a little bit. And then you click on the item, you can choose uninstall. Now at that point, <clears throat> you have to navigate the interface until it gets this small little window that has add, repair, and remove. And I'm going to go ahead and remove. And that will launch a copy of the installation center piece at the remove uh, option. Now it used to be used to be that in the days of old uh, you could go right to the installation center and there was a removal option that would basically launch this window. I don't know why they took that out. They're forcing you to use the add remove program uh, apps and features uh, option but that's the way it is. So at that point I choose the item I want to to work with, this is an instance of SQL 2017. The instance name is 2017, and it includes, although it's not, oh, get back there, it's not obvious, it includes the database engine and the Microsoft Analysis Server engine as well. So it's, um, it's also a data quality service DQS engine on here as well. Once again, it's not obvious, um, but this is indeed the one I want to mess with. So I'd go through and say next. And here I choose better quality services if I want to uninstall that, analysis servers if I want to uninstall that, and so on. Let's say I want to uninstall analysis server. I would select just that. It would leave the database engine, data quality services, uh, installed all these other items. I go next. It would check to see if it's all going to be okay. There may be some issues with that, and then hit remove, and it would uninstall things. So th at that point, you could then go through and reinstall. Yep, I do want to get out of here. Uh, reinstall, and the way you do that is you actually do go to the installation center. So you go into Microsoft SQL Server, look for the installation center, launch that. <clears throat> and when that finally gets done, oops, actually, there it is. When it finally launches, go to installation, and um, you're going to a new SQL Server installation or add a feature to an existing installation. You click on that, choose where your files are that you would have. Uh, got when you installed SQL Server. Come on. Let's bring it in. And let's see. I don't want that. I want D Drive. Come here, D Drive. And my 
my software folder and my SQL 17 folder. I launch that. Uh, and from here, it's pretty much the same as the installation videos I've made. It's just that you, you're adding a feature to an existing uh, installation. So you navigate through the menu options, perform a new installation of SQL Server, add a feature to an existing instance of SQL Server. That's the one I want. Next. And come on, choose analysis server again. So I would choose analysis server. I didn't uninstall it. I would choose analysis server. Uh, that would be available. I'd click on that. And then when it came up to the configuration, I make sure this time I add myself as an admin. Uh, it probably happens to, I'm not sure it's going to say 10%, but probably 5% of my students that, that seem to have this, this little fun issue going on. So I finally made a video talking about how to reverse that process, and hopefully this was useful to you. Okay, take care.